Like and subscribe right now, or this spider will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Piracy is one of the most common threats that multi-billion dollar shipping companies face, who remain at the mercy of techniques to deal with them. From non-lethal to lethal strategies, here are some of the craziest techniques gigantic ships use to fight pirates in the middle of the ocean. Water Cannon System If the plain old system of hosing them down can work on rioters, then why not on pirates? Water Cannon Systems is a non-lethal defensive measure that employs the use of multiple hoses covering every angle around the ship, where each hose is capable of spraying water at a speed of a thousand gallons per minute to distances over a hundred meters. It works by overwhelming the pirate controlling the helm of the boat to shield their eyes. These are not only effective in keeping the pirates from climbing on board cargo ships, but also to put out fires, if any. Ship Barricading The good old barricading can never go wrong if done properly and in time. Ship barricading is often used as a worst-case contingency plan to limit the reach of the pirates if all measures fail and they happen to get on board the cargo ships. From the bridge, engine room, to any other sensitive parts of the ship, they're sealed with materials that are bulletproof and are able to withstand any and all possible types of abuse. Once barricaded, the damage that the pirates can do is significantly less. High-Powered Microwave While something like this might still be in development, it sure seems like the ultimate weapon to fight pirates. This footage was taken at the Surface Navy Association in January 2019, showcasing a high-powered microwave system that is capable of disrupting and disabling the electronics of an incoming threat. BAE, who designed and are testing the system, commented that this is not a single target system, but good for swarms, be it drones or a huge group of boats, by keeping them at bay. A futuristic system like this could give an edge in fighting pirates in the middle of the ocean. P-Trap Anti-Boarding System This is perhaps the cheapest and the most effective technique that can be used by any ship. P-Trap or Pirate Trap is a passive, non-lethal anti-piracy self-protection measure that can provide continuous protection long after it's deployed with no monitoring. The trap includes two heavily constructed poles on either side of the ship and on the rear with lines that break up entangling with a pirate boat's propeller and immobilizing them. With several lines suspended over 270 degrees of the ship, it is easily able to withstand multiple simultaneously performed pirate attacks. Electric Fencing This is something that can make the pirates rethink their life choices. Electric fencing is another strategy that can be used as a deterrence by any huge merchant ship to fend off any attempts made by the pirates to get on board. It employs a perimeter fence all around the ship that can deliver a nasty 5,500 volt shock to the intruder and instantly kill them. Although this has proved to be quite effective in discouraging pirates taking over, it has a high cost in maintenance and power consumption. Barbed Wire on Deck This is more of in conjunction with the type of technique that's often used as a secondary measure. Most multi-billion dollar shipping companies tend to use barbed wires all around the ship while passing some of the most common seas of pirate attacks. The idea here is that it's used to have a ship made impregnable just as a high security penitentiary. The razor wires act as a measure of discouragement among the pirates, who would otherwise have to suffer cuts and bruises trying to pass them, not to mention the horror of getting entangled within the razor sharp wiring. Drawing them in. Oftentimes, pirates tend to get creative that they go above and beyond by exploring new routes to attack unsuspecting ships, calling for newer ways in dealing with them. In April 2019, a privately owned oil tanker was passing through the Gulf of Aden when a boatload of Somali pirates showed up and managed to board the tanker after seeing it had no visible protection. Due to the highly flammable nature of the cargo, the private security contractors let the pirates on board in an attempt to draw them in before cornering them. Within minutes, the entire team of pirates was detained with no shots fired. Boxing in Aside from using countermeasures, using offensive defense is another technique used to fight pirates when the ship cargo is sensitive. 
This works by first letting the pirates get within the range close to the ship before they're surprised and surrounded by dozens of rafts with fire teams on board. With the display of sheer numbers and weaponry, the pirates usually surrender with no resistance, making it quite an effective strategy where lethal force is used only when it's necessary. Pirates Ambushed Most small commercial ships have to use unorthodox measures to fight pirates due to budget limitations. A small merchant ship was passing along the Gulf of Guinea when they came across a fast-approaching pirate zodiac. Luckily, the crew of the merchant ship had an armed security team on board who ambushed the pirates and thwarted their attempts to get any closer. This technique has proved to be quite effective against a small attack party. <laughs> Ramboing it out. Surely no one would like to find out what it's like being on the other side of a Rambo-like firing barrage. This footage was taken in November 2011, showing a strong, muscular man who was wielding a heavy machine gun in an attempt to defend a merchant vessel from a pirate attack. Just after several minutes of continuous open fire, the Rambo-like figure managed to eliminate most pirates while sending the others running. The power and reach of the gun backed by man like that could sharply decline the morale of any pirate. Open Season When it comes to facing a huge number of pirates that are armed to the teeth, there aren't many techniques that can work here. Another incident was captured by the U.S. Navy, where a swarm of pirates who were armed to the teeth attempted to attack a U.S. Navy destroyer until the Navy went open season. The heavy firepower obliterated the fast-attacking boats, leaving nothing behind. This is probably the only way to deal with the pirate problem permanently. And now, let us move on to our subscriber pick of the day. This image was sent to us by one of our subscribers. Similarly, if you ever wish to know more about an image you come across, just send it on over to us. Who knows, we might even feature it in one of our videos. This picture and video was captured in February 2017, where several fast-moving pirate boats attempted to get on board a cargo ship off the coast of Somalia. With the ship having water cannons resisting their attempts, along with teams of private contractors who resorted to firing, kept the pirates away. But unlike most cases, these pirates didn't seem to want to abort. They started circling around the ship in an attempt to evade both the countermeasures until two Navy ships from Japan and India came to the rescue. They managed to detain most of the pirates after boxing them in while eliminating the ones who managed to get on board. Thank you very much for watching the video. Do like and share it with your friends. Subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to not miss any of the upcoming amazing videos. Thank you once again. Buccaneer Boat Stopping System Pirates tend to use speed to quickly reach their target, and this is something that can put a stop to it. Buccaneer Boat Stopping System works by delivering projectiles designed to deter and disable small, fast sea craft at a range of 200 meters. The projectile lays a buoyant netting or line that intersects the fast-approaching pirate boat by snagging on the bottom of the boat, dragging the anchor that halts the targeted boat. The launcher can be operated remotely or in person from the bridge, control room, or even the deck, and it has a 360-degree rotation. Use of Heavy Ordnance Oftentimes, the pirates tend to use heavy numbers and flank from all sides to overwhelm their victims. In April 2020, a Russian Navy ship was returning to the motherland when a huge group of pirates mistook it for a cargo ship and decided to attack. The response? Well, the Russian Navy made big use of its big guns that delivered a devastating punch to the pirates and in turn left them running within a few minutes of retaliation. If these pirates had attacked a cargo ship, this could surely have gone south. Long-range acoustic device Amplifying sound waves is another non-lethal way to go when it comes to fighting the pirates. LRAD, or Long Range Acoustic Device, is a special purpose loudspeaker that was initially designed by Genesis for long distance communication between the ships. The high power sound that it produces doesn't just remain effective in communication, 
but also to disperse violent, rioting crowds and even pirates. The sonic capabilities of this device, however, can cause permanent hearing loss, as it uses an extremely high decibel capacity of 160 decibels. LRAD is often used for identifying foe from friendly. It is also used for negotiations in siege situations or other disasters, or defense uses like to identify foes and friendlies.